Aloha. So, uh, we now have the coconut grater established on a uh, plastic stool, which will do the job nicely. Uh, and we still thank Sally for her kindness in uh, renting it for a month, uh, so we can uh, enjoy our coconuts in various forms and shapes this uh, month of January, while everybody else is enjoying snow and sleep back home. Um, Steve has a coconut ready to go, and we have a pot underneath to capture the goodies, and uh, it's going to take care of it from here. It's a really basic technique. Uh, take coconut, take the grater, some sharp edges, start grinding. And soon we'll be having coconut milk. And the word is that in Samoa, this is the man's job. Everywhere in else, it's the woman's in job. Samoa. So today, Samoa. we're in Samoa. That's right. finely ground coconut here. It smells great. Let's have the cameraman smell it too. Ooh. There's th it's not going to be any fresher. It doesn't there exist. It's basically ready for the bounty bar. Okay? So we call it almond joy in this country. But tonight again the goal is to cook vanilla sauce. Homemade vanilla sauce. Um, so we're going to make a bunch of this and we're going to squeeze it and squeeze all that milk out of it. And the fish is in the kitchen, and we're going to cook it all up and uh, serve it to uh, Willem, the cameraman today, and uh, and uh, Nyandi, Nyanda and uh, the others before they leave. So, very good. Aloha. Hello. Hello, folks. Uh, this is Wilhelm from the Wilhelm and Nyanda Coconut Products Company. Um, I'm just a grinder, sorry. We discovered today, yesterday, he had a quite uh, a natural um, ability with coconuts and um, felt he uh, might be able to go far in life in this particular business. So, uh, see, this is productive. Indeed, you know? very nice. So, uh, Willem and Nanda have actually canceled their trip home tonight. <laughs> and uh, they're going to be uh, starting a business here in Molokai. And it's going to be uh, Willem and Yanda's uh, Ono Coconut Cookies. He's going to be doing the grinding. And Yanda is apparently a, a fabulous cook, uh, which can probably produce some uh, very, very delicious cookies out of this product here. And then uh, Morgan Mindy here, the Morks, uh, will set up the Ono Coffee Grind Company and Farm next door. That in Maui was Maui ground, and now we'll do Molokai ground. So we'll make Molokai made Molokai coffee next to the Molokai made Molokai uh, coconut cookies. And I think we'll do a great job. What do you think? It's, 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 it's great. We'll the only thing is I can only do a max of four hours a day of grinding work. That's you will get the muscle. max I will do. You will get muscle. Uh, and then we'll bring some Samoans on board to really get the process going. So when we, you know, when we start building up business, we'll have about ten big Samoans grinding coconuts every day. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not like some minimum wage thing. We're, we pay well because this will be a great success and we'll go sell them down at the Saturday market. And then we can use all that coconut, um, all the husk to make coconut rope and sell it off down at the market. Yeah. And uh, Elena can probably use some for her uh, necklaces and things that uh, she sells at the Saturday market. So we'll we'll basically be bombarding that Molokai princess every time it comes off from Maui because they come in with lots of cash. And uh, every time they uh, you know, sit up at the table at the airport so when people have to check into our before, they have something to do, namely buy our stuff. You know? There's always desperate shoppers at the end. So, uh, see, while I've been sitting here talking my butt out, Willem and Dutch Basque have carved out half a coconut. Nice. Uh, beautifully. And if we zoom into the pot, you can really see what's going on down there now. It's quite impressive. It's nice. Very impressive. Uh, yeah. 
It sure beats trying to cut coconut out of a thing with a nail clipper. Um, By the way, can we also do something with the roosters? The roosters? Like starting to sell some rooster meat. Well, I have an idea. Meat. We could do uh, to get rid of the noise. It's how about how about one o'clock in the morning? <laughs> one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> how about rotisserie rooster with coconut sauce? I mean, that would yeah. pretty much take care of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice yeah. Dish. I think so. Yeah. The back end of it, and yeah, you know, that's a whole other product line there. The uh, coconut cookies, coconut sauce mix, which you can sell to the mainlanders online. Done. Very nice. Nice. We're done. Okay. Beautiful. Patrick would be proud, even if you don't know who he is. He's a very good looking to guy. Okay. And he knows he can do this in like five minutes. But five that, minutes. there's no competition. I don't want you to lose any fingers over there. Oh, you did it in about five minutes, too. Yeah. Beautiful. Great. Perfectionist European there. Well. So you want to keep going or do you want to? No, it's, uh, it's your turn, I know. I'll take I guess. Seat, right. Yeah. Okay. We're playing musical coconut chairs. Signing off, folks. Hello, so now it's my turn because the guys couldn't handle all this coconut grating. See, I've got all this, I got all this to do, which of course um, is a lot more than they managed. So now I'm gonna have to do all of it. But what do you expect, you know? Um, so if I don't have too much cleavage, I'll be getting on with it. Um, again, thanks to Patrick for teaching me how to do this because if uh, he hadn't, I'd be in deep trouble right now. Actually, actually, if he hadn't taught me, I wouldn't be doing this at all. So, we will just continue. But of course, Patrick has served Poisson and Clue for our friends for a long time and uh, done a marvelous job at it and uh, taught us all how to survive in nature so we don't have to end up like, who was it, uh, Tom Hanks on, uh, on uh, Castaway, was it? Mm -hmm. He didn't know what to do. We know what to do. So now I'm just working away here. We can get to this sauce moment. Disappearance here, then I can always We're still working at it, and uh, I think we're going to stop here pretty soon and move on to the soft portion, and uh, have another couple of guests try their hand at this later if they wish to. Um, otherwise, I'm sure there'll be plenty of candidates for eating the rest of the stuff. We're pretty, uh, pretty much enough here, so we're going to get get the husk, and then we're going to try to squeeze some milk out of this thing, so you can see there's still plenty left in here. And uh, so far we have this much, which should yield a good amount of what we're trying to do. So we're going to get the husk, and then we'll move on to uh, step number 15 in the coconut sauce making process. Yeah. So.